praise the lord a warm welcome to you my dear brothers and sisters to listen to the good news and today's good news is taken from the gospel of saint luke chapter 19 verse 1 to 11 in this passage we read about zacchaeus the bible says zacchaeus was a rich man he had a big post and he had plenty of property money wealth and all the things of comfortable life now when he had everything in the worldly perspective when we see he had everything he had money he had good job he had all the luxuries to live a luxurious comfortable life when he had everything with him what made zacchaeus to come to jesus let us reflect on this question what made zacchaeus to come to jesus usually who comes to jesus people those who have some problem some sickness some difficulty something is not okay in the house something is not okay in one's individual life there is no job no money no peace in the house some disturbance and all these things those people usually seek god come to jesus come to god not those people who have got everything and everything is going on well there is no problem whatsoever those people usually don't come to jesus normally now what made zacchaeus to come to jesus that is the question even though zacchaeus had many many things he was not happy he was not happy with the money that he had he was not happy with the wealth that he had he was not happy with the big post and the position that he had he was not happy with all those comfortable luxurious things he was not happy he was not satisfied deep within himself he was sad he was empty and he was seeking for something greater something higher he must have heard about jesus therefore he developed an intense desire to see jesus it is not only to see jesus but much more than seeing to experience jesus he has experienced the world worldly things worldly comforts worldly luxuries money wealth position everything he has experienced but nothing could make him satisfied or happy therefore he comes in search of jesus seeking jesus now the bible says he had his difficulties what are the difficulties the bible mentions that he was short in stature he was short in stature it is not only one difficulty short in stature that the physical dif- difficulty of, or physical deficiency along with that he had psychological difficulty spiritual difficulty how do we know that people knew that zacchaeus was cheating people and thus he was collecting money which means he did not have the guts or the courage to face the people face the crowd therefore he didn't want to come in between the crowd which means psychological fear such psychological problem he had he also had the spiritual problem he knew that he had done mistakes in a wrong way he has collected money therefore he was guilty therefore he had that spiritual deficiency or problem so all these three problems he had spiritual psychological and physical but at the same time he had an intense desire to see jesus because of that intense desire he works very hard what are the works he had done 
the first work he comes into the path of jesus path of truth path of honesty path of sincerity path of justice he comes into the path of jesus he lives the old path of earthly living cheating defrauding injustice he lives that path comes to the path of jesus because jesus was supposed to come in that same way secondly he walks into that path goes ahead thirdly he climbs a sycamore tree he rises above the earthly things and the worldly pleasures he climbs above the earthly things and to the higher heavenly things and fourth one he waits there with prayer eagerly patiently waits with prayer and jesus comes there Zacchaeus takes one step to come to Jesus to see Jesus to experience Jesus and Jesus takes 99 steps to come to Zacchaeus and now when Jesus comes there look at Jesus how Jesus is dealing with Zacchaeus even though Jesus knew everything about Zacchaeus he is not accusing him he is not highlighting his limitations that he was a cheater he has defrauded people he has collected money in a wrong way zacchaeus i know everything about you jesus is not telling anything of that sort he is not putting him down even though jesus knew everything but jesus deals with him with love with love he calls zacchaeus by his original name zacchaeus make haste and come down the love of jesus melts zacchaeus and immediately zacchaeus comes down now he is not bothered about the crowd he was filled by god's love so as he comes down immediately he welcomes jesus into his life into his house now how does he welcome jesus he does not give a welcome speech he removes all those things which he collected by wrong way or wrong means all the things he says half of my property i will distribute to the poor if i have defrauded anyone i will give them give them fourfold he removes everything which is not good in the sight of god he removes everything and makes place for god in his life in his house and there jesus goes to his house and to his life and as jesus goes there jesus makes the statement today salvation has come to this house today salvation has come to this house today salvation has come to this house because zacchaeus met jesus zacchaeus listened to jesus Zacchaeus obeyed the command of Jesus Zacchaeus was ready to bring about changes in his life Zacchaeus was ready to mend his life and Zacchaeus welcomed Jesus into his life into his house and as Jesus came into the life of Jesus into the house of Jesus Zacchaeus everything changes zacchaeus become a new person now he does not want any sort of wealth money property now he wants jesus now he tasted the love of jesus now he wants jesus so through the life of zacchaeus we are called to accept jesus to welcome jesus in our individual life in our hearts in our houses when jesus comes into our life and lives in us it's no longer i who live but jesus who lives in us so we need to reach to that experience and for that we need to have an intense desire to welcome jesus into our life as zacchaeus had and when we have this intense desire and we work on that certainly we will have that experience of meeting jesus talking to jesus experiencing jesus and then we can share that experience with others it will be so beautiful to sharing our own god experience with others so let us ask god to help us 
to experience him more and more day by day that we may be able to share our experience god experience with others and many more may come to experience god and to live a good life life of gospel values and witness and thus let us glorify god may god bless all of us